guys, it's time to unbox the Samsung Galaxy Note FE Note Fan Edition. The sacrifice was worth it and it's back after all the hammers and drops and knives and microwaves. It is back for good. It doesn't matter how good the Galaxy S8 is and how good the Note 8 will be. Note FE has a special place in our hearts. I asked you guys a couple of weeks ago whether you want to see some coverage on the Galaxy Note FE and most of you were positive and you said yes. So let's get right into the unboxing. So you can see the box looks very similar to the old Note 7 box. We got some specs here at the back. This is actually Snapdragon 821 which is an upgrade from the 820 inside the original Note 7. So we'll see about 10 to 15% performance improvement. 4 gigs of RAM which should be enough uh, with the right optimization to have that great multitasking experience. Quad HD Super AMOLED display, it's 5.7 inch and around 80% screen to body ratio and believe me it's still the best, one of the best in 2017. We got 12 megapixel camera on the back which is of course very similar to the Galaxy S8's camera and a 5 megapixel front camera for selfies. It was the first ever Galaxy Note phone to be water and dust resistant. Okay, so this is the internal box. Uh, as you can see, we do have a seal, which I already cut off. And as you can see, the Galaxy Note FE is here. Wow, it is looking absolutely gorgeous. And this is the first time ever I bought a coral blue uh, Samsung phone. So as you can see here, it says Galaxy Note Fan Edition. And it feels quite light to me. I don't know why, but let's see what else we have inside the box. So first off, we have this, which includes some cases. Okay, we have a case for the Galaxy Note FE. Uh, that is a new, new high value from Samsung and then of course the rest of the stuff is the same as the previous Note so this is a Type-C USB cable um, if you guys remember the Note 7 was the first Type-C phone from Samsung uh, adaptive fast charging of course does have fast charging some ODGs um, Type-C to normal USB 2.0 ODG converter and of course uh, Samsung's normal headphones. So I'm just gonna move that to the side and let's take a look at the star of the show, the Galaxy Note FE. I'm just gonna quickly remove the plastic. Okay, slowly. There we go. We also got a protector on the front and this color looks so, so stunning. Oh my god, this phone still has that legendary feel and that golden edges these golden sides, I just absolutely like it. And of course we do have that legendary stylus, the S Pen that we all love. Let's just quickly boot this phone up. And of course, software wise, we do have some changes. Uh, it is based on Android 7.0 Nougat, uh, but uh, it's the Galaxy S8 UI. So uh, it's also the second phone to have the Bixby uh, voice assistant. So that is also nice. Uh, but we don't get any physical key, so which is which is a relief because I don't like the Bixby key on the Galaxy S8. Okay, it's on, and uh, let's get through the setup. I'm just gonna quickly start this without having any Wi-Fi connection because I mean I don't want to waste time. Let's quickly add the fingerprint scanner because this phone is the last Galaxy Note phone to have the fingerprint scanner in the home button because in the Note 8 and in the future Note 8 or I mean Note 9 or Note 10 whatever we won't see the home button and everything will be on the back or maybe under the display. Let's just quickly get through this. Okay we are done. Uh, just added one thumb and obviously it does have the always on mode so that is nice. Protect phone. I'm just going to sign in later. Skip. Finish. And we are done. Okay. Very familiar UI. So obviously they launched it in South Korea. So we have a lot of Korean stuff. But I think we should be able to uninstall these apps. Okay. Let's see. Yes, we can uninstall, so bye-bye. For the device name, Galaxy Note Fan Edition. It has a special model number as well. And we can check out the software information, Android 7.0 NuGet, and Samsung Experience version 8.1. Just like the Galaxy S8, if you swipe here all the way to the left, you will see Bixby swiping up to go to the app drawer. And of course, you can disable that 
by going into home screen and just have it home screen only apply. And now we have this simple look without any app drawer. Just a quick comparison with the Beast Galaxy S8 Plus. Now as much as we love this new bezel-less design, the Note 7 was the best in its time. Like this design was way better than most of the phones. The old design still has its own charm. And uh, yeah, we are moving forward to this era with no bezels, which is definitely a right move. And uh, you can see comparison wise, both phones like looking really similar, software features and everything. Even the camera looks exactly the same uh, with the same settings and everything. So let me know what videos you want to see regarding these two phones, a speed test, a battery drain test. Uh, just let me know in the comments. So compared to the original Galaxy Note 7, you have now a safer 3200 mAh battery, which will not explode. So uh, apart from that, of course, it's now a little bit faster with Snapdragon 821 processor. The software has been updated to the NuGet, which is based on the S8 Experience UI. Let's take a quick look at the Galaxy Note FE S Pen. And as you can see, it looks very similar color wise. And uh, we have that same key to press. As you can see, that brings up this menu. You can add more shortcuts in it. And uh, wow, I loved it and I missed it so much. And a lot of people love this. So this is like the headline signature feature of the Note phone. Z Tech Gear. Hopefully the stylus will get some updates with the Note 8, but it's awesome to have it back with the Note FE. And of course we do have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that is still there. Samsung does not remove features from its phone, like core useful features. That good old home button. Let's just check the speed of the fingerprint. Look at that. Wow. You just press it and boom, it unlocks. Let's quickly see the case, which is actually a clear view cover for the Note FE. We got this plastic, let me just peel it off. And we have some paperwork inside of the case, which I'm sure I'm not gonna look because I'm a pro, you know. Let's just put this one here like this. There we go. And as you can see, once it closes down, it locks the phone. Yeah, that's a full unboxing and first look of the Samsung Galaxy Note FE. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, let me know all the stuff that you guys want to see and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.